By the end of this video, your home screen is gonna go from looking like this to this. Today, we're gonna go through just four easy steps for you to get there. Let's get started with the first and easiest step. Clean your desktop. And yes, that means cleaning the entire thing. Now, if there are essential apps that you use every single day, we can put them on the taskbar or the Windows home area. You can also press the Windows key, type the first few letters of your app and press enter, which is probably way faster than you can double click. Now to clean your desktop, it's really simple. All you're gonna do is right click on your desktop, go to view and uncheck show desktop icons. You could also just delete all the icons one by one if you prefer that. Now this is a good first step, but we can do a lot better. Step number two. So all these menus and default Windows settings are extremely plain and boring. Let's fix that by enabling dark mode to start. Right click on your desktop and go to personalize. Select colors, click the drop down menu and select dark mode. Now while we're here, make sure transparency effects is checked and automatically select my accent color from background is also checked. Then scroll all the way down and check the two boxes at the bottom. Now this is gonna make all your menus pick a dynamic color based on whatever background you're using instead of just like a plain static color. It's gonna look a lot better. That brings us to step number three. This is the most important part. Let's get you an insane quality animated background. Now here, there's pretty much two options. Wallpaper Engine on Steam is the best when it comes to displaying a fire wallpaper on your PC, but it comes with the caveat of a one-time fee of $4. So now we're gonna do a quick guide for Wallpaper Engine, but if you don't have Wallpaper Engine, you can use Lively Wallpaper on the Microsoft Store. It's not quite as good, but it's still pretty solid and it's free. To get Lively Wallpaper, just open up the Microsoft Store, search Lively Wallpaper and install it. So for those of you with Wallpaper Engine, go ahead and open it. If you want my exact home screen, we're gonna cover that now. So for my home screen, search for perfect wallpaper for Fisky. Double click it and head over to the right hand side. I'm gonna show you section by section my settings for this wallpaper and not read them all out one by one because it would take forever, make the video really long. So let's go. First, check audio recording. This is gonna make the bars in your home screen animate when you play music. Now check show color options. And here are the settings I use for color options. Scroll down to background options. Important settings are set wallpaper mode to video, Use 10 raindrops as video model. Next, here are my settings for the soccer effect. And here are my settings for the Alice particles effect. These are the little blue bits that look sort of like snow. Now scroll down to visual audio and PW circle. These settings control the circle in the middle of your screen and the information inside it like time and date. By the way, I drop a new video every single week. So if you're getting value out of this one, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Now at this point, your desktop is starting to look fantastic, but let's take it one step further with part number four. Let's make your task taskbar look awesome. So first, right click on your taskbar and you will see a lot of unnecessary stuff like Cortana and the weather widget and all this random clutter. Just uncheck it, you don't need any of that stuff. Now let's make the taskbar transparent. Go to the Microsoft store and search for Translucent TB. Once you find it, go ahead and hit install. When it's finished, click launch. Now your taskbar should be transparent. Now let's go ahead and center all the icons as well. If you have Windows 11, this is much easier. For Windows 11, just right click the taskbar and go to taskbar settings, then taskbar behaviors, click taskbar alignment and select center. If you have Windows 10, this is the method. Right click your taskbar and uncheck lock taskbar if it is checked. Right click your taskbar again, go to toolbars and select the links. Now grab the bars and drag them all the way to the left and make sure it hits the other side. So your icon should be moved all the way to the right. Now drag this all the way to the middle and try and get it centered. Now right click your taskbar again and uncheck show text and show title to get rid of the links text. Right click your taskbar final time and click lock taskbar again. And the final result is pretty dope I have to say. It is a lot of work, but the difference between this and the default home screen is not even in the same universe. Enjoy bragging to your friends, their home screen sucks. But we have an even more hype video coming next Sunday. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. And don't forget, I have a bunch of videos just like this one. So check out one of these two videos that pop up on the screen next because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you'll like the best. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.